Hi everyone and welcome to my Facebook Live today. My name's Mandy Witherby from Mandy's Papercraft Creations and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Sydney, Australia. Welcome, welcome everyone. I hope that you are well today. I hope that you have had a great weekend and you'll notice that I'm filming just the desktop again today. Um, I still can't transition my camera at the moment because of my um, back still playing up. Um, but I still wanted to bring you some creative time today. So we are just going to be looking at the desk today. So I'm sorry that you can't see me. You can't see my face today. Um, but we're going to have some fun. All right. So while everyone is jumping on, I'm just going to bring this up on my iPad and on my computer. See if my iPad is going to cooperate today. Um, but I've got my laptop as well because um, last week I found that I was having a lot of trouble with my iPad. Oops, let me just turn that sound off. There we go. Yeah, my iPad kept on freezing with our Facebook Live last week. So I had to actually revert to using my computer. So I've got them both on. So all good, so I should be able to see your comments. So be sure to say hi as you're jumping on. We've got a few already here, fantastic. Hi Tina Marie, hi Rose, hi Megan. Great to have you all here with us today. We're going to have some fun today. Um, oh, you had a bad allergic reaction, did you Megan? Oh no, oh to the shoulder strapping. Ah, itchy, itchy, I bet that was, Ah. Oh. No worries. Oh, I hope that settles down, Megan, for you. That's not nice. Allergies aren't nice, are they? All right. And you are between me and watching the Hawks live stream. Oh, there you go. Best of both worlds, Megan. <laughs> so how is everyone? Let me know. How was your weekend? Hey, Athena. How are you going? Great to have you with us. It's... um. So today is Monday, the 31st of January. Can you believe we are already at the last day of January 2022? That's absolutely crazy. Um, so I've got a few things to share with you today before we get crafting. Um, and then we're going to have some fun. So who's going to be crafting along with me today? Let me know. And what are you creating today? Um, oh, Athena was on a card making weekend. And she made a few cards. That sounds awesome, Athena. So much fun. That sounds great. Um, all right. Um, oh, Megan had a big day crafting yesterday as well. She was participating in a crafting event yesterday as well. How many cards did you get made, Megan? And Tina Marie is crafting along with me today. Yay! That is awesome. Now has everyone got their cuppa or your, your uh, beverage of choice? I've got my water here in case I need it. Um, I don't have a cup of tea. I tend not to have a cup of tea on the desk when I'm filming because I'm fearful that I'll spill it. <laughs> so I'll probably have one after I finish filming, however. So what's everyone drinking today and what are you creating with me today? Um... All right, let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, you didn't get any cards made, Megan. Oh, your shoulder was too sore. Oh, no. Well, at least you were able to participate um, and be there visually anyway and see what everybody was doing. So that's good. Oh, Megan's drinking Coke. No sugar. Very good. Tina Marie just finished a cup of tea. Awesome. Love a good cup of tea. Oh, we were given, um, recently we were given a um, thank you gift box from neighbours of ours because they'd been away and we were sort of putting their bins out for them and keeping an eye on their place. And they gave us a lovely um, hamper when they came back. Now in there, um, most of the things I couldn't eat because I'm gluten free, but the family could. So they, the kids shared out all the yummies, which was great. But in there was some um, vanilla chai tea and they're in tea bags, but it was a different brand, one I hadn't seen before. And I tried it last night and it was so yummy. Put a bit of um, almond milk in there and a teaspoon of honey and it was beautiful. So I think I'll have another one of those when I finish filming today. 
Um, oh, Megan's got nine hours of video to catch up from the event yesterday. Oh, that sounds like so much fun, Megan. You'll have so much fun when you um, are able to sit and do that. Hey, Julie, how are you going? Great to have you with us today. All right, so let me tell you a few things before we get started. So the first thing I wanted to tell you about is I have a really cute class coming up. So last week I told you about a class I had coming up using the rainbow bundle. However, I had everything prepared, ready to go. I went to post it and just before I went to post it, I thought I better just double check if these products are in, in stock at the moment. And guess what? That day they had actually gone out of stock. So I've put a hold on the rainbow class at the moment, but instead I have got a class which I've just advertised on the weekend using the Turtle Friends bundle from the annual catalogue. Now this is such a super cute little bundle um, with these gorgeous little turtles and there's a coordinating punch as well. So there's three options in my class. Um, there's the option to just get the stamp set. There's the option to get the stamp set and punch at the 10% discount for the bundle. Or there's the option of substituting if you would still like to do the class, but you already own those products. Um, so you can check that out in my events here. I have also posted that on, um, I sent out an email and I've posted that on my, on my website as well, my um, DBWS website, which is my demonstrator website. So you can find it here. Um, under mandywithabeat.stampinup.net you can go here and find the event or you can find it here in my Facebook business page under events. Um, now there's a registration link. I'm doing it a little bit differently this time. There's a registration link there that you'll need to click on which will take you through to the registration form and um, you'll be able to get all of the information there. So it's going to be a super cute class. I've got three beautiful projects prepped now in those advertisements, you'll see a little sneak peek of those projects as well. So if you want to have a look to see a little bit of what they look like, it's only a little sneak peek because I don't like to give away too much, um, but you can go there and have a look at those. So check them out, um, see what you think, and we would love to have you join us. Now it is an online class, so um, I send you all of the content for the class and um, I will order the products for you, have them shipped direct to you, and then I will send you the project kits. We'll be making six cards, so we'll have three different designs and we'll be making two of each design. Um, I'll send those to you in a separate package. And um, what have I forgotten? Oh yes, and then on class day, I email you the video. And then you've got the tutorial video to use whenever you like. Um, you can watch it over and over, you can, do it in parts you might not be available on that day you can do it at a later time um, so yeah so check out the information um, you'll see it it all there in those places where I mentioned um, here on my business page and on my demonstrator website I also sent out an email I sent out a couple of emails actually on the weekend about it so check that one out that's going to be a really fun class all right so the other thing I wanted to let you know is I am going to do a little mini paper share. So when I did my original paper share, um, there were two papers that weren't available, which have become available now. So it is the Flowering Fields 12 by 12 designer series paper from the mini catalog. So I'm these are from the mini catalog. Sorry, I flicked that closed very quickly. Didn't I mean open very quickly, didn't I? Um, so it contains that one and the beautiful New Horizons 6x6 designer series paper. Now in this paper share, it's just got the two papers, but you can choose whether or not you would like a half share or a quarter pack share, which means you'd either get a half pack of each of those papers or a quarter pack of each of those papers, depending on your needs um, and um, what you what you need. Yeah, what you need and what you want. Um, so... There's information about that um, as well. If you are interested in that, let me know. I can send you a registration form and more information um, about that. And today, Monday the 31st of January, is the last day to register for that. Okay, so um, today's the last day. I'm closing it off today. So um, be sure to get in contact with me at some stage today if you're interested in that one. 
Now, if you don't have a mini catalog and you don't have a celebration brochure and you don't have an annual catalog, then please let me know because I would love to send them to you if you don't already have a demonstrator. If you do already have a demonstrator and you don't have these catalogs, be sure to ask them um, for a copy of the catalogs. I'm just closing up, uh, opening, closing up the annual catalogs. So I'll show you the cover of that one. So if you don't have any of these catalogs, um, yeah, be sure to let me know. I'd love to send them to you. And uh, I'd love to look after you as my customer. Um, I like to make sure that my customers get the best value that they take opportunity that take the opportunities of all of the sales and specials so if you are ordering with me be sure to let me know before you place your order so that I can make sure that you get the best value for your money okay now if you're not familiar with celebration just to let you know during celebration which runs until the 28th of February with every $90 order you get to choose a free um, product from the celebration brochure. So we've got stamp sets, we've got designer series paper. Then if your order is actually over $180, there are some level two items that you can choose as well. This is one of them here that has the stamp set and the paper together, which you can choose if your order is over $180. And we also have this wonderful um, sentiment stamp set, which is called special moment stamp set. Um, and this one has sentiments for an array of different occasions. So um, if you would like some more information about that, then please let me know. Um, but yeah, if your order is getting close to the $90, then I always suggest to everybody to get the best value, even if you just add on some um, cardstock or add on an ink pad or add on some adhesives or something to top it up to get over that $90 so that you can then choose some products from the celebration brochure. All right, now the other thing is to, um, that during celebration, there is a special offer to join Stampin' Up. Now, when you join my team, I like to look after my team members. I like to share lots of inspiration with them. We do fun, creative challenges. We catch up and have monthly team gatherings and we do a bit of, we have a bit of um, fun creating together. I like to um, give recognitions and prizes and gifts to my team. Um, and then of course, there's all the things that come with Stampin' Up, which is access to um, exclusive Facebook groups and the website and demonstrator only events and all sorts of things. And of course, you get the amazing discount, which is 20 to 25% discount on all of your Stampin' Up! products. Now during celebration, if you join during celebration, you only pay $169, but you get to choose $235 worth of value already you're getting an additional $66 worth of product for free. So I've already got added value then plus you get the free shipping on that stamp uh, on that um, order on the starter kit order so that's more added value plus then you get to choose during celebration you get to choose two free stamp sets so that can be any stamp sets from the mini catalog from the big annual catalog any two stamp sets that you like you can choose just going back to, I opened that back up again at my turtle. I need to put a sticky note in there. Hang on, let me grab a sticky note and put it in there on my turtles in case I need to go back to there. So yeah, so that is awesome value. So that is what Stampin' Up! has on offer at the moment. And of course, in our team, we have lots of fun together um, and we inspire each other. And you know what? Can I just tell you that I have made the most beautiful friends through Stampin' Up! Um, which is just, those friendships are absolutely priceless. Um, people that I wouldn't have had the opportunity to meet otherwise, I have met through Stampin' Up! And it's just, I've just made the most beautiful friends. And um, members of our team have actually met each other and created friendships as well, which is really lovely. So if that sounds something that you might be interested in, please let me know. I'll be happy to give you more information. I've got an extra flyer I can give you for more information. I'm happy to have a chat with you on the phone or um, send you some information. 
then just please let me know and I'd love to have a chat with you. And we would love to welcome you to our beautiful crafting community. All right, so that is all the information. Now, oh, hi, Laurie, how are you going? Um, feeling better, I hope. Yes, I am. Uh, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. It still takes me a little while to get into my chair to sit up, um, especially if I've been on my feet for a while. So sometimes I need to lie down in between transitioning. <laughs> But I'm getting there, moving moving a lot better than what I was. Thank you. And it's freezing there in Ohio, is it? Oh, I guess it's snowing now. Is it snowing there in Ohio? All right. Um, Julie's looking forward to this class. Yep, Julie's already registered for the, um, the Turtle Friends class. And she's looking forward to that. That's great, Julie. Um, I think you're going to love the product, uh, the projects, Julie. Um, Megan says she loves vanilla chai um, and you usually have turmeric and beetroot lattes. Ooh, that sounds yummy. I love beetroot juice and I take turmeric every day as well as an anti-inflammatory, uh, for anti-inflammatory purposes. So, very good, very good. Um, oh, yes, it did snow, um, Laurie said, over there in Ohio. Wow so cold and we're the opposite here we've got um the heat at the moment <laughs> all right so today we are going to be playing with something i've been talking about for quite a few weeks because i know i was started to talk about this before christmas but it arrived when did it arrive it might have arrived just before christmas but then i went on a break then i hurt my back so i haven't had a chance to share this with you yet so this is the latest paper pumpkin kit that has been released globally and it's called Hope Box. This is a very special one. Now it says August 2021 because that's when it was released in America. Um, it came to Australia a little bit later. There was a little bit of delay on this one um, getting here to um, Australia and New Zealand, so the South Pacific regions. Um, but I'm going to share this with you today. It's so um, pretty and I haven't opened it yet I just took the plastic off the outside of the box but everything else we're going to open together um, Julie is crafting today with me as well awesome oh she's creating a card for our team challenge oh, yay I can't wait to see it Julie so we every month we have a team creative challenge which is lots of fun and I award prizes um, I, I draw a prize each month for um, somebody who has entered in the team challenge and this month for January we've had a challenge of um, casing the mini catalog so casing different projects from the mini catalog and I love that in all of our catalogs we have so many sample projects in here that we can copy or as we say case which is copy and selectively edit and so that's the challenge I gave to my team this month was to case something out of here. They And we've got lots and lots of entries this month. It's super awesome. Everyone's done such a great job with their cases. And when you case a project, you can case it exactly as the project is in the catalog, or you can change it up, make a few um, edits to it to make it your own. So um, yeah, so lots and lots of beautiful samples here in these catalogs lots of creative inspiration so I find too if I get into a little bit of a um, uh, lack of mojo if my mojo goes on a little holiday I like to come and case something from the catalog which helps me to get back into my um, creativity so I love that Stampin' Up! Give, gives that to us in the catalog Alrighty, let's get on to our beautiful hope box let's open this up and have a look what we've got inside Okay, so first of all, we have got a little flyer here from Shelley Gardner. Shelley Gardner is the um, chair of CEO and she's one of the co-founders of Stampin' Up. So, um, yeah, so there's a little, a little blurb in here about the Hope Box. I'll just read this to you because I did read this last night when I opened the box. Um, put a smile on someone's face. The Hope Box paper pumpkin kit includes... 
a gorgeous card kit for you to create plus a specially designed box, the Hope Box. Stampin' Up! co-founder Shelley created the Hope Box to help you find what makes you hopeful. Simply collect mementos and precious objects, reminders of wonderful memories and tokens that point towards exciting moments to come. And keep your curated Hope Box as a place to turn to for some self-love and inspiration. Isn't that just a great um, incentive behind this project? Really cool. And then on the back, there's a bit more information there how to assemble um, your hope box and here's some examples of how what you can include in the hope box so a card from the hope box paper pumpkin kit you could include pictures that bring up positive memories um, family friends vacations etc you can put some documents in there report cards diploma certificate awards etc inspiring articles affirmations quotes or poems jokes or stories that make you laugh lists of goals dreams and aspirations printed lyrics to a hopeful song i love that idea that's a great one meaningful jewelry art that you have created or that someone has made for you your favorite book or magazine significant objects so there's some ideas of what you can use this hope box for it would also make a really beautiful gift box too, I think as well. So you can scan this QR code here as well to watch Shelly herself actually put together this kit. So that's pretty cool too. All right, so that's the info. Then we've got a beautiful spool of ribbon. This is really wide ribbon, this one. Let's open this up. So this is Blackberry Bliss ribbon. And let's have a look. This is like a woven ribbon oh wow this is soft and beautiful now we had or have a cream uh, a very vanilla version of this which is narrower it's very similar to that um, I think it's from one of the ribbon combos I'm trying to remember what the other one was but yeah it's it's similar to that like it's a like a, a woven ribbon very very soft and pretty love that that's beautiful so soft um, it is a beautiful kit, Laurie, isn't it? Yes, I agree. Do you have this one, Laurie? So we've got our beautiful stamp set here as well. Let's pop that down on the desk so we can see that. We've got some beautiful stamps in there. This sentiment is lovely. Always hope because you can never know what tomorrow will bring. That's lovely. Um, just a note of hope. Then we've got the word hope. Um, where there is faith. Miracle hap miracles happen and this one says where there is I guess you could use that with the word hope where there is hope and oh there is faith there you go so you've got the different components of that one broken up as well and then we've got a couple of butterflies on there some little splodges some florals really beautiful Laurie has this kit already awesome great and Athena has this one too. She said she had so much fun with this kit. It's beautiful. Great. That's fantastic. I'm so glad that some of you already have this kit. So you also get a little ink spot in here. Now this is Blackberry Bliss. That's the color. I love that color. It's really beautiful. Um, so we've got the ink. And then I love that our paper pumpkin kits come wrapped in beautiful tissue paper keep your tissue paper because you can use this for gift wrapping I always save all of this for my gift wrapping all right and then inside the kit oh if I can get that out hang on a minute I've got to get my fingers under there these are all the other components of your kit so let me just fold this tissue paper back in there so that I don't crease it too much I want to keep that nice so I can reuse that There we go, all right, and I'll pop the box to the side. Even the box, look how pretty the box is. So pretty. Okay, let's move these ones over and we will open up our kit. So all of our, the rest of our kit components are here in this package. On the other side, you'll find the instructions. So make sure that you look for those. Don't throw them away with the cardboard because the cardboard in here is just to keep everything flat and um, secure so that they don't get damaged I'm just using my little trusty paper snips to get this open there we go all right so we'll get rid of that pop 
pamphlet in the bin and remember to take your instructions from the back there there's our instruction sheet and all of this is just sitting on that cardboard I'll leave that on there for the moment all right so first of all here are our instruction sheets so it's showing you the three different projects there as well as how you can decorate up the box now of course when you get any of the Stampin Up kits you can follow the instructions step by step and make those projects exactly how they are in the kit or you can use the components in the kit of course to make it your own and change them up so with the instructions we always get on the back hang on let me just put that I'll close that back up again so if I flip that over to the back it shows you all of the components in your kit look at all those beautiful colors in that kit hold that up a little bit closer to the camera so you can see how beautiful is all of that beautiful 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 so pretty and butterflies I just love butterflies and I love the colors I love these colors gorgeous so it gives you all the kit components there um, there is another QR code there that you can watch detailed instructions um, for putting together this kit and um, there's some additional ideas there for you as well all right so let's open up and have a look so for each of the projects you will have um, instructions here in picture form so this is project one project two project three project three goes uh, yep over that whole page and then project four which is the box itself and then if you flip over the page there it'll show you for each of those projects the components you need to pull out of the kit okay so it shows you all the bits and pieces so let's go through all of the components that are in the kit first so we've got some gorgeous embellishments in here let's have a look at these oh some really pretty sequins they are gorgeous very blingy look at that let's see if we can get the color to pick up from the light here can you see that in the light it's a bit hard to tell under these lights but they are very beautiful they've got all different sorts of color tones in there I can see yellows and pinks and purples and blues and a bit hard to pick up on camera though um, we have got some Stampin' Dimensionals. We love our Stampin' Dimensionals to add a bit of pop to our projects and pop things up, pop items up on our projects. So we've got some of those. So pop those in there. We've also got a sheet of double-sided sticky dots. So these are similar to the mini glue dots, only they're much smaller. So this is the adhesive that comes in the kit. So you can use those, but of course Stampin' Up! does sell other adhesive as well. So usually when I'm making my kits, I do change out the um, adhesive dots for my own adhesives um, so that I can save these and give these away to um, people when I send them little um, project kits. I'll pop those in there too. All right, so that's our adhesive and looks like we have got some very pretty envelopes here oh these are gorgeous look at them look at those colors on those envelopes We've got the beautiful butterflies got a little bit of ink there ink splodges on the other side these are so pretty so there's three of each design so that's the second one and this one's cute too look at that so pretty all right, we've got some little label embellishments. There's a couple of sheets of those. How many sheets do we have? Three, I think. Three sheets of those. We've got, oh, that's some white cardstock. So I'd say we're probably going to be stamping onto those. We've got some little sentiment labels in different languages. So we've got English here and here. And then we've got, uh, this one is German. This one, I'm not sure, maybe French, French and German. Probably tells me that in the kit somewhere, the different languages. Um, let's see. Mm, I think it's French and German. I'm just trying to find where it tells me. I think that's what it is. We've got some more um, pre-printed colored backgrounds there, which are beautiful. And I'm just gonna check if I have missed any comments oh hey Jenny how you going great to have you with us today just saw that you had jumped on um, we are looking today at the beautiful hope box paper pumpkin kit really really beautiful kit 
that's what we're playing with today. All right, we've got some sentiment labels in here as well. We've got some more backgrounds. We've got all oh, these little cute die cut butterflies. They just pop out. They're really cute. And here's our card bases. So let's see what color card bases do we have. We've got a pink splodgy one. We've got, oh, where's the other ones? The other ones must be hiding underneath all of this. Yep. We've got some, what's this one? Coastal Cabana, Coastal Cabana colored ones. And where's the third one? There should be a third one somewhere. There it is. The third one is a pre-printed one with some different, um, some different embellishments sort of there already pre-printed. Wait, I've got one, two, where's the third one? Oh, did I leave it behind? There it is. Yep. There we go. Yeah, so we've got some beautiful elements there already pre-printed. They sort of have a watercolour look, which is beautiful. And then, oh, look at these. We've got all these beautiful, I'll pop it, let me turn that over so you can see that. This is like a die-cut pop-out piece. It's already coloured, already die-cut for you. That's one of the embellishing pieces for one of the card designs. That's really beautiful. So we've got three of those. We've got our belly band. This is for making, um, for decorating the box. So we've got a big belly band there for the box. We've got some more labels here, some more die cut flowers, sentiment there. That one I think is for the box as well. And then we've got some more sentiments here in the three languages. Um, oh, it's hope. So that's for one of the cards. And then, oh wow, look at this one. How beautiful are they? Look at that big butterfly, that's huge. And we've got little flowers here and some small butterflies. So how many beautiful components in this kit? It's just gorgeous. All right, now we'll see how many we get through today. Depends on how my back holds out and how long I can stay sitting. We'll see how we go. All righty. So what I'm going to do is I am going to pop all of the envelopes to the side. So we won't be using those just yet. And let's start. How about we start at the top with project number one and let's make project number one. All right. So in the instructions here, it shows us all of the items that we're going to need for project one. So let's bring those out. All right, so we need one of those. And we need, hang on a sec, let me move those over. One of those. We need one of these ones. We need the base, which is the Coastal Cabana base. That one there. Okay. So we can just fold that in half. Then the envelope that coordinates with that is the one with the, this one here, this one here, the yellowy bit in the bottom and on the bottom on that side. So that's the envelope that coordinates with that one. Oh, where did I just put all my pieces? Oh, I'll put them over to the side. There they are. Okay. So that one, that one, that one. Then we need um, this one tomorrow. So we'll punch that out of there. And we need hope, so we'll punch that one out of there. Um, what else do we need? We need the stamp, always hope, because you never know what tomorrow will bring. And then we're going to use, what have we got there? Four, five, six, seven of the embellishments. We're going to need some adhesive and we're going to need some stamp and dimensionals. Okay. All right. So um, I can pop all those to the side. And we'll bring in our stamps. Now, everything in these kits to make these projects is included except for a block. So if you've had any of our um, kits collection kits before, you will know that you got a small block with those, which is a, a narrower block than this one, but it's the same size surface. So it's a D size block. Um, the paper pumpkin kits don't come with a block and that's just to keep the price down for everyone. Um, but you can use one of your other blocks that you already have. Or if you don't already have a block, you can purchase these um, blocks. These are our ergonomic blocks 
or they're just called clear blocks in the annual catalog or in the online store under tools and you can purchase these and the D size block is the one that will fit all of your stamps from the um, kit. All right, so let's remove our stamp off the backing here. And when you first get them, they're really quite sticky. There we go. All right, so I'm just gonna pop that down onto my desktop with the smooth surface or the flat surface up. And I'm just gonna take my block to that stamp and press that down and very carefully lift that up off my desktop. I probably should have done that on paper. Oh look, here's my grid paper. So I'll just give that a push on, make sure that stayed on there. Okay, great, so we've got our stamp already mounted. Now it's a good idea to give your, so these are a photopolymer stamp. They're a clear stamp, they're made of a photopolymer material. And it's always a good idea to give them a little clean before you use them. So I'm using the Simply Chamois, which um, can be found in the annual catalog or in the, in the online store under tools. And I'll just give that a little clean first, just to remove any of the manufacturing residue. Um, can be a little bit sort of um, shiny on the surface, which stops the ink sort of sticking to it too well. So if you just do that first time, then you'll be good to go. Now, I think this particular card doesn't use the ribbon. In fact, I'm thinking that the ribbon is only used on the box. But of course, as I said, you can always change this up um, however you like. Okay, so if you wanted to add a bit of ribbon, but make sure you leave enough ribbon for the box. So if you're gonna use the ribbon on any of the other projects, make sure you've measured your ribbon, the amount of ribbon that you need for your box first so that you don't leave yourself short. All right. Now, I'm just having a look. Um, it's showing me, mm, all right, I'll get to that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we will start with these pieces here. And I'm just looking to double check I've got the right ones. Yep, okay. So I'll turn this over to our number one project. So this is the one we're using here. Now I'm gonna swap out my little Blackberry Bliss Stampin' Spot for my Blackberry Bliss Classic Stampin' Pad, just because I prefer to use the larger pad um, and I like to keep these little Stampin' Pots to uh, Stampin' Spots to use as gifts later on. All right, so I'm gonna swap that out. And our first step, now let's put that down here. Oh, I got ink on me already. Thankfully, I've got a baby wipe close at hand. I always have them nearby when I'm stamping because sometimes I get a bit messy. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is to stamp our sentiment onto this beautiful piece that's already colored for us. So we're gonna ink up our stamp. So we're just gonna go tap, tap, tap. You don't wanna push your stamp hard into your ink pad because you don't want to push the ink down in between all of those words. So just tap, tap, tap a few times. And we're just gonna stamp this in the middle. So let's see if I can get this lined up straight using my grid paper here. This is my small grid paper. And I'm using that to help me to line everything up. So hopefully I'll get that nice and straight. Now normally I would have stamped onto a foam mat or a stamp and pierce mat as we call them, but I actually don't have one at hand at the moment but I might ask Amber if she'll go and get one for me because, oh, we actually did okay, so all good. Um, when you're using photopolymer stamps, it's always good to stamp onto a, um, a foam surface or like a something that's got a little bit of give in it so that um, you get a nice, clean, crisp um, image, especially if you're stamping sentiments. Now I'm gonna give that a clean, I've just, stamped off some of the excess ink and we'll give that a clean now don't be too worried with your photopolymer stamps if after using a dark color like the blackberry bliss that your stamp turns pink okay the photopolymer stamps do hold some of that um, deep pigment in some of our colors of the ink pads but it doesn't affect your stamp okay it won't um thank you amber it won't damage your stamp at all so long as you clean that surface ink off that's okay. And in fact, I actually like that because it makes it easier for you to be able to read the sentiment. <laughs> so then I can just stamp that off to make sure I've removed all of the excess ink. 
and I think I might have still had a little bit on there actually let me give that another go on the chamois the simply chamois are great you just add water to them and they clean your stamps beautifully there we go okay so there's our sentiment done beautiful all right now what's our next step our next step is to add showing me here our next step is to add some dimensionals there on the back um, we're going to pop that up onto our next layer all righty so again with the dimensionals that come in the kit I like to keep those to give away so I'm going to bring in my own stamp and dimensionals that I've already got started and I'm going to use those to put onto the back of this piece. So it's showing just to put four there. I'm going to add an extra one in the middle as well, just for an extra bit of stability. And then that piece is going to go onto this. Um, this one is Bermuda Bay and it's a, it's got like a um, splattered background. So we're just going to remove the backings from our dimensional because they've got um, protective paper on the back of them. So we're just going to remove those and we're going to line that up. Let's use our grid paper here to line that up. It's always good to have some um, scrap paper or some grid paper underneath your project when you're stamping so that if you ever accidentally stamp off or you drop your stamp or something like that, you've got something protecting your work surface. Or your desktop all right how's everybody else going with their crafting let me know how are you going how's your card going Julie you're making a project for our team um, challenge our creative challenge for this month how's it going and am I allowed to ask Julie which stamp set you're using today <laughs> or is it a secret all right so I've just folded that card base in half um, I'm going to use my bone folder just to burnish along that fold line there just to make that sit down a little bit flatter but if you don't have a bone folder that's okay you can actually use the edge of your block as well if you don't have a bone folder you can run that along the edge just be careful actually it's probably better to do that from the back in case there's any um, sharp bits on your block you don't want to damage your cardstock so you just got to be a little bit careful all right so then we're going to adhere that onto there now it's telling us to in the instructions to just use the a little adhesive dots that came in your kit which are these ones people often think that these ones are some form of embellishment because they've got a little bit of printing on the top that's just so that you can see the um the paper backing on them but they are actually a double-sided adhesive dot but i'm going to save those ones and i'm going to use my own adhesive so i'm just going to use a little bit of um, stamp and seal you could also use some multi-purpose liquid glue if you had so actually let's do that let's use some glue let's use some multi-purpose liquid glue because we've already got a layer on there so we've already got a little bit of dimension going on so I think the glue would be better so let's add a little bit of glue there we go and we're just going to pop that down Oh, Tina Marie's crafting too. What are you creating, Tina? Are you doing another card for our creative challenge or are you doing something else? So we've got a couple of our beautiful team members on here today with us, which is always lovely to have our team members along. And um, we love crafting together, don't we, ladies? <laughs> Alrighty. Now we are going to add... Out. so we've got the words hope and tomorrow here okay and we've got the words hope and tomorrow on these colors so what we're going to do is we are going to stick these over the top of these two words to add a little bit of pop and a little bit of interest so we're going to use some stamp and dimensionals on the backs of those so we just need one on this one Oh, Tina Marie is casing a Grassy Grove card with the Grassy Grove bundle. Oh, beautiful. I love that sweet, uh, that um, bundle. So if, um, if any of you have been watching me, you will have seen that I created with that just recently. Was that last week? Or was it the week? 
was it last week? No, it was uh, it was just before I hurt my back, I think. Yeah, so earlier in January, I created with that here on a Facebook Live, which was, um, yeah, it's so beautiful. Oh, that's really good. And Julie says, I made two um, the other day, and I'm just finishing the last one. I used Easter Friends and Blessings of Home bundle. Oh, beautiful. Nice. I can't wait to see them when you finish, ladies. They're going to be beautiful, I'm sure. That's awesome. Who else is creating today with us? Anybody else creating or are you all just sitting back and relaxing with your with your cuppa? Or Megan had her coke, I think, too, and Megan said she was also watching her um, football, her American football, which I think it's called Gridiron, isn't it, Megan? Is that right? All right, and now it's showing me here too to add two of those little butterflies. So let's go back and find those two little butterflies. Here they are here. So we're gonna use, pop these ones out, two of those. And we've gotta remember our bling too. Have to use our bling. So I'll bring in the bling as well because we've gotta add some of that. I don't wanna forget that one, there we go. All right, so our little butterflies, let's put some, it's saying just put, um, just stick them flat. But you know what? I wanna pop them up. I like popping up my little embellishments. So I'm gonna put some Stampin' Dimensionals onto the back of those. Let's see, will these ones fit? These ones are a bit big. So you can either use the minis or you can cut the large ones in half. So you get the large ones in your kit so let's use these large ones and we'll cut them in half. I'll just get my other scissors, my other snips, and we'll cut them in half. So as I said, you can change up these projects how you like. You don't have to do them exactly like the instructions, but if you are new to card making and you're unsure, um, the instructions are all there for you. Whoops. So there we go, one butterfly and two butterflies. Who else loves butterflies? I am a butterfly lover. And we get some beautiful butterflies around here, around our garden. We've got a beautiful big veggie garden. And so we get a lot of, um, we get a lot of butterflies coming to our garden. All right, so we are going to add now, how many did I say? Seven, I think it was. Seven of these beautiful embellishments. I'm just using my Take Your Pick tool to pick them up. And we are just going to pop them here, there, and everywhere to decorate up our card. All right, Jenny's just relaxing. Sounds lovely, Jenny. You've just come back from a big holiday, haven't you, Jenny? Or did you, did you go just on one holiday or did you go to a couple of different places? So let's see, what have we got? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I'm saying seven, but I can only see if I, oh no, there's another one up there. You can really put them wherever you like. This is such a blingy card. Look at all the bling on this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Normally I would probably only do three or five, but seven is super blingy. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Such a beautiful card. And that coordinates with this envelope here. So there we go, let's fold that one there. And we've got those beautiful colors on that side. So there we've got our first project. Wasn't that nice and quick and easy? And it's beautiful. And I love this sentiment. I think this is really lovely to send um, to somebody. Always hope because you never know what tomorrow will bring. That's right. Beautiful, okay, so that's project number one. All right, how are we going for time? Oh, I think we've got time for another one. How about we look at project number two? And, or should we jump straight to the box? What do you think? Maybe we should jump straight to the box and we'll check out how the box looks and then we'll see how much time we've got left for one of the others. Um, Jenny said they went to a couple of beautiful, a couple of places, they had beautiful weather and you're going again soon, oh, lovely. I wish I had a caravan to just pick up and go away when we when we wanted to. That would be so lovely. Oh, Tina's saying the box. She wants me to decorate the box. Yeah, okay, we will do the box. So let's bring back in our box, move all of that. 
there's our belly band and our envelopes will pop over to the side all right so the box that the project came in is the box that we're going to decorate okay so we have got let's see let's put all of these to the side we've got the belly band that comes in the box okay so we need that out what else do we need let's have a look on our instructions here all right we need that big beautiful butterfly we need our ribbon so we've got the ribbon there let's get the big beautiful butterfly hang on a sec just bring all of these over so I can reach them don't need that just yet okay so let's find it it's going to be down the bottom somewhere I think I think it was right near the bottom wasn't it that's our card bases and our big beautiful butterfly is probably at the bottom there we go wow it's a huge butterfly look how big that is so we're going to use this one i'll we'll take that out love the colors in this looks like it's got a watercolor effect look how big that is on my hand like i don't have the hugest hands but i have average size hands but that's really big look at that beautiful all right so we're using that one and what else do we need uh, these two flowers here as well so we'll pop those out oh these ones are quite delicate they've got a little like spirally center to them so you have to handle those ones carefully so we'll pop those ones out we might um we might yeah we'll use, be using a little bit of glue for that i think um we want these two butterflies here as well so basically everything that was on that sheet we're going to use for decorating the box there we go and what else what else what else um oh some of the little flowers the little yellow flowers i saw them in here somewhere which sheet were they on not that one these ones here we go so these three flowers here, one, two, three. Let's just move all of that over out of the way for a moment. And we want our big label there, which says always hope because you never know what tomorrow will bring, which is the same sentiment that was on that stamp. It's already pre-printed for us again in the three languages so depending on which language you would prefer i'm going to use the english one now there's a tag there as well the tag i think is that for this box too yes the tag is there for the box as well if you would like to use it if you would like to um pop the tag on the box you might want to write on there what's in the box or if you're giving it as a gift you might like to write to and from on the tag um, that's there as an additional item for you if you would like to use it not sure if I'll use that yet so I'll use I'll leave that on there for now all right so I think we've pulled out all of our pieces that we need now hang on a sec I'm just getting myself organized here with all of our bits and pieces there we go I'll pop that over there alrighty now let's have a look and see are we doing any stamping on this box so we've got all our pieces I don't think we are I think everything's already done for us we're just putting it together so I'll turn over to our project number four which is our box and this is going to show us how to put together all of the components to our box okay so let's put the ribbon all of our butterflies and flowers over to the side here there we go and we're going to start with the belly band i'll just move my grid paper we don't need that this time all right i'll pop that up there now we're going to start with the belly band and the reason that we've got the belly band is so that we can cover up the paper pumpkin um, logo on the front there so it's showing us here that we need to put the belly band together first so what I'm going to do, because I haven't done this before and I want to make sure uh, I do it correctly, the belly band has got different um, scored lines on there. So you need to fold that on the scored lines. I'm going to use my bone folder just to burnish those to make sure that I've got them folded nice and firmly. If you don't have a bone folder, that's okay. You don't need to do this step. This is just an added step 
um, that I'm doing. Fold, fold, fold. There we go. All right. And now it's saying to, let's have a look. I'm having a look to see. I think you just fold that around and you join that up together. I think I'm going to do it on the box just to be sure. So it's going to go over there like that. Then it's going to wrap around the edges. Is that right? Yep, wrap around the edges. And it's going to overlap like so. So I'm just having a look in the instructions to double check I've got that right. Yes. Fold, fold, fold. Yep. We don't want it to be too, too tight because we want it to be able to slide off the box, but we don't want it too loose either. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop some... Um, we're going to pop some adhesive on one side of that. So let me just double check that again. So, yep. So those two, I don't know why it had score lines there. Maybe just to fit in the box. So it didn't actually need those score lines there because it's not folding around the box at that point. That's okay. All right. So going all the way around and we're going to pop some adhesive down. So what I'm going to do is I will put, I'm going to use my stamp and seal you can use glue you can use the adhesive dots that came in the um, box now be sure where you put your adhesive that it's not going to overlap onto the box because otherwise you won't be able to slide your belly band on and off so you might want to even just put a little pencil mark let's see if I can find a pencil here we go you might even want to put a little pencil mark I think I'll put the adhesive on this side so if I put a little pencil mark where this is this piece here is going to end Oh no, I've got to put adhesive in that section there. Just for my own peace of mind so that I don't put the adhesive in the wrong spot. All right, so open that up and we're gonna pop some adhesive down here. Oops, let me get this running, there we go. So I think I'll put, I'll put a few strips here of adhesive so that that, and make sure that that sticks really well. And then I'm gonna pop that back onto my box I'll wrap that back around make sure that I get that lined up nice and straight there we go line that up and there we go oops I think I didn't get that quite oh I got a bit of extra extra glue just there all right I think I didn't put that down quite tight enough I wonder if I can release that and just re-stick I put lots of adhesive. There we go. Okay, let's try that again. I'll just do that a little bit tighter. Hold that around the box. And line it up. There we go. Okay. So there we go. There we've got our belly band. So now that covers up the um the paper pumpkin logo on the front beautiful now we can start decorating okay so I'm going to just move over a tad there we go right what's next on our destructions so we're going to cut our ribbon we need 48 inches or 122 centimeters now we have got a ruler along the side of our instructions here you've got inches and then you've got centimeters. Okay, so I will use that to measure my ribbon. How much did I say we needed? We need 122 centimeters. All right, let's go. Let's pull a whole heap of this off the spool. 122 centimeters. So let's go 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, um, 120, what was it, 122? 122, there we go, so we need to cut that there. And we've still got a little bit of ribbon on the spool, oops, hang on, they're not my sharp ones, they're my going blunt ones. Let's get my sharp scissors, there we go. So that's how, so it's basically, um, 
over a meter there and we've still got all of that left on our spool so you can use that if you wanted to include that in some of the other projects or you can use that for um, some other projects that's beautiful ribbon okay so we've got our ribbon and let's go back to our instruction sheet we're going to wrap that around the box and we're going to tie a bow at the side there okay so it's going to wrap around our belly band all the way around make sure it's not twisted bring it back up to the side and it's saying to tie the bow on the side of the box so let's hang on let me see if I've got those ends even oops did I just twist that let me check let me check make sure that's not twisted there we go okay and then we're gonna tie a bow a big beautiful bow on the side of our box there we go now if you wanted to you could bring that bow over to the front um, depending on where you want to have that positioned you might want to have it at the side there I actually like it at the side there I might have mine at the side there and then do all the other decorative items on the box let's see if we just get my ribbon sitting nicely Now you don't want to trim this up too much because your that ribbon if you're going in and out of your box you'll need to um, slide that on and slide that back off so I will just trim the ends of my ribbon at a little bit of an angle there we go oh I went the same way both sides oopsie all right let's I can adjust this one because this one's a bit longer there we go that's better now they're both at they're both opposite otherwise they would look funny if they were both going at the same exactly the same angle I mean in the same direction there we go okay so there's our beautiful bow now next next on our instructions is our big beautiful butterfly so we're going to add that on there first and then our sentiment is going to go over the top and then all the other embellishments are going to be tucked in and around that big beautiful butterfly all right so here is our butterfly and that's going to be going over the top there so we need some adhesive on that butterfly you know what I'm going to use my mini glue dots again you can use the adhesive dots that came in your kit which would be these ones here okay actually does that is that using dimensionals oh that one's using dimensionals lucky I double checked hang on a minute we want to use the dimensionals so we want that butterfly to pop up all right so we'll turn that over let me just move my box for a minute now if you are looking for this kit you can find this in my online store and um, you'll find it under what's new or you can just search for it by name um, up in the top in the top uh, right hand corner of my online store there's a little magnifying glass you can click on that and that's your search bar so you can search in there for um, what you're looking for oops uh, okay so we'll add a few more I'm going to cut some of these in half and make them a little bit smaller if you've got mini dimensionals you can use mini dimensionals and yes yeah, so I don't think we'll fit any down there so that should be I think that oh I didn't stick that one I didn't take the backing off that one whoopsie there we go oh because that one what happened that one came off oh that's okay I was thinking oh what happened to that dimensional but I hadn't removed the backing from it all right there we go so we'll take all the backings off these dimensionals now so that we can adhere that to the front of our box there we go mm. all right 
Okay, so make sure that ribbon is nice and straight. Have that lined up. I haven't got it lined up on this side. So line that up in the middle before you adhere everything over the top of it. There we go. All right, and then we can pop down our beautiful big butterfly. Let's make sure we've got that in the middle there. Does that look like it's in the middle? I think it's got to come over this way a little bit. There we go. And push. There we go. Now, one thing too, I just noticed. Oh, I did it. I actually did that. Where I put the dimensional, it's overlapping a little bit on that label, which means we wouldn't be able to slide that off. So I'm going to need to move that one. So yes, so learn from my mistakes. <laughs> Just be careful where you put that dimensional because you don't want it to hang over the um, belly band. Otherwise, you won't be able to slip that belly band off. I think I've done it on this one too. Yeah, just got that C. See there how I've got that dimensional just a little bit too high and it's going off the box. So we'll just take that one off. Oh no. Oh, there we go. It came off there. And I'll just get another one. Actually, I'll just grab a mini. Oops. There we go. I'll just grab a mini and I'm just going to put that down a little bit lower. Under that first little scallop on the wing, that will be better. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so now we'll just check. Yep, that can still slide on and off. Gorgeous. Okay, now our sentiment label. This one here, this is a long label, and that's going to go right over the top. Now I've got my ribbon, it's going to go right over to the edge of my ribbon there, which is all good. So we're going to put some adhesive on that one. We're going to put some dimensionals. So turn that over. I'm going to line that up over my butterfly to see where I'm going to put those dimensionals. Because those dimensionals, I just want to put them where the butterfly is. I don't want to put them where the um, ribbon is because the butterfly's already popped up on dimensionals. And if I put it down there on where the ribbon is, it's sort of going to um, slope on the edges. So we just want to put it there. Hopefully that makes sense. All right, so we're going to pop one there. One, let's see, where's the thickest part? Yep. So that's the middle. One there and one there. Okay, so just for three dimensionals, we'll remove the backings of those. <laughs> yes, Tina Marie said she learnt the hard way to only cut ribbon with sharp scissors. That is right. That's right. You don't want to be using blunt scissors on ribbon. It's not a good ending. <laughs> it's not a happy ending. There we go. Okay, good. So there's our sentiment. And now we can add all of these other little embellishing pieces here. So again, you can use those adhesive, um, those adhesive dots that come in the kit, but I am opting to use my um, liquid glue because I just think that that will be easier. Okay, and these are going to just pop in and around the um, butterfly. So just pop some of this liquid glue down here and there. There we go. And I'm just going to slide this in underneath my butterfly, like so. Okay, let's do the other one. This one go is going to go on the other side of the top. So just a little bit of glue. If you know the sponging glue technique, that would be a great one to use for these because they're quite delicate as well. Um, I'm just dabbing a little bit of glue here and there, but the sponging technique would be fantastic. I'm going to pop this in down here. There we go. Good. Getting a little bit sticky from that glue, so I'll just clean my fingers. 
and then we've got these other little pieces as well so basically just doing um, little clusters of all of these embellishments you might want to adhere some up a bit higher I might even hmm, let's see no I think I'll put that one under it's quite delicate so just put a bit of glue and I'm going to slip that in under here well because of where I've put the glue I've got to make sure that it's on that belly band too so that it will slide back off don't want to be putting any glue directly onto the box because otherwise you won't be able to slide that belly band back off again um, I'm going to use this big one on the other side Okay. pop that one in over here and these beautiful butterflies I love these they're so pretty so those of you who have this hope box or have made this hope box did you um, make yours exactly like the instructions or did you change yours up a little bit how did you do yours pop that butterfly just there and this one we're going to pop up the other end up the top left hand corner glue 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 these kits are great for gifts as well by the way if you have got that friend who is really hard to buy for or family member that's really hard to buy for and you never know what to get them even if they are not crafty I'm going to lift that one up again to try and tuck this well maybe I can tuck it in under this way um, these kits are great because you don't have to be a crafter to be able to do the kits because all the instructions are there for you so if people have never created before or never made cards before um, the kits are great for them so and they're not very expensive either this one is uh, 47, I think it was 47 or 44 dollars. Oh, I can't remember now. Maybe somebody can help me with the price. 47 or 44 dollars for this one. Just can't remember what it was now. I forgot to look before I went live today. There we go. So there's our extra flower there. There we go. So there is our beautiful box decorated. Again, as I said, you can change that up however you like. I'm just cleaning the glue off my fingers while I'm talking to you. Um, you can change that up however you like, but isn't that just beautiful? 37. Oh, it's $37 here in Australia. The Hope Box. Thanks, Amber. Um, so yeah, so that's a really affordable kit. $37. And as I said, you get everything in there to create these beautiful projects except for your block. So you just need to um, have a block or use one that you've already got or you can purchase those um, separately. So isn't that gorgeous? And now that belly band, that whole thing can just be slid off the box if you want to add any items to the box. And there you go. So yeah, keep it as a keepsake box for yourself or give it um, as a gift. So there you go, there's our beautiful box. All right, um, let me just double check if I've missed any comments. Oh, I've still got glue on my fingers. How are we going for time? An hour and a quarter. Would you all like to see me make another card or do you all need to go? Have you got other things to get on with your day to day? Um, let me know we've still got two other projects in the kit that we haven't made yet which i'm happy to make yeah no i'm i'm okay i'm sitting here and i'm okay i'm in an okay spot my back is holding out so i'm happy to keep going for a little bit if you would like me to or do some more rose you're happy to for me to do some more sure no worries tina marie has time for another one okay great all right ladies let's see which one they're both beautiful well they're all beautiful actually let's all right how would you all like to vote on which one we do okay let me show you what we have left okay so we've got the hope card so i'm going to call that number one 
if you want to vote for number one that's the hope card and then we'll call this one number two this one is the pink card so would you like number one or number two let me know in the comments which one you would like me to create next number one or number two actually I think they're project number three and four I oh, know two and three but anyway let's not confuse it <laughs> Tina Marie said number one okay this one yeah what about everybody else cast your votes everyone have your say project number one or project number two while we are waiting for those to come through I was talking about um, if you're looking to purchase this kit where you will find my online store is either via my blog you can go to mandy's papercraftcreations.blogspot.com click on the shop button at the top and that will take you through to my online store um, you can also go to my website which is mandywitherby.stampinup.net if you'd like to have a look around there as well there's also a shop now button there too so either way it'll take you through to my online store now if you are shopping with me um, please use my host code this is my January 2022 host code so this one will actually change tomorrow but if you are shopping with me today on the 31st of January use this host code and any orders or, or every order receives a thank you card from me and if your orders go over $50 I like to increase your value and I give you uh, I send you a thank you gift as well from me for shopping with me so remember to use my host code um, you might like to even get one of these kits for yourself and one for a friend and then um, if you add in some adhesive or a pack of dimensionals or something like that um, pop it up over the uh, $90 remember as well we've got celebration so if you're ordering remember to keep in mind also celebration so that you can get those free celebration items with orders over $90 all right so we've got two saying that they want number one card number one this one here all right no other votes coming through at the moment okay well we will go with number one all right so let's have a look in it's actually project number three um but i called it number one <laughs> there we go so this is this one here now let's see all of the products that we need to pull out of the kit for that one here we go here here's our in all of our components for our project so we need our card base oh which is the printed one with the swirls and the flowers printed on them so let's bring in that one that one there okay um, the envelope is the one with the bright pink yep that one there bright pink on that back corner I can see yep that one there okay so there's our card and our envelope now what else do we need we need oh we need that one that has all of those die cut pieces that big die cut piece this one here oh, yes we need that one that's beautiful and then we've got an additional purple butterfly which is from the butterfly sheet how cute are these butterflies so let's punch out one of those little purple butterflies uh, what else do we need a hope sentiment where's our hope sentiment so we'll find that Oops, so many components in this kit isn't there lots and lots and lots um, oh it's I think it's the one at the bottom there we go oh it's the big one this one big hope lots of hope so we need that one okay and oh we do need two labels as well nearly didn't see that two of these labels so I'm going to leave them in the backing sheet to stamp on and we need our ink uh, we need our block of course and we're using um, where there is and there is faith so we need both of those stamps okay and our bling of course always need our bling all right so the stamp that we used earlier I'm just going to take that back off the block and I'll put that back on the backing sheet here there we go and we'll get our where there is and our there is faith 
Um, this one. This one. And this one. There we go. Okay. So what I'm going to do, if you've just got, if you've only got one block, well actually what I'm first going to do is I'm going to pop each of these stamps face down onto some paper first. Oh, because with the photopolymer, they're stretchy. So um, what can happen is you can actually accidentally stretch them out of shape when you're trying to put them on your block. So the best way to do it is to lay them down face down so you've got the smooth surface on the top and let's do one at a time and take the block actually to the stamp and pick it up that way okay now I'm going to flip my block over and I'm going to put the other one on the other side of my block because I think we're stamping these individually there we go okay so now I've got a stamp on each side of the block and they're nice and straight or in their natural um, shape so we'll give those ones a little clean on our Simply Chamois again before we use them. It's to remove that manufacturing um, residue so that they hold the ink well. Dry them off. Okay. Right, let's go back to our instructions now. Here we go. All right, so we're going to stamp our sentiments first. And this time I am going to bring in my stamp and pierce mat so that I've got that nice cushioning underneath my photopolymer stamp. Okay, so we need our labels and we need our rich razzleberry ink, which is, where did I put that? There we go. I put the stamps on top of it, so it was hiding. Blackberry Bliss, I mean. Said the wrong color blackberry bliss so we're just going to stamp each of these onto one of those small rectangle labels now they're quite little but you do get spares in the kit as well so if you don't stamp them perfectly the first time don't panic too much you've got room to do it again and also too it's basically just a piece a little strip of um basic white cardstock so if it's not great and you've got basic white cardstock in your stash, then you can always just pull out a little strip of basic white cardstock and substitute if you need to, if you have too many stamping boo-boos. But look, I did it first go. So there you go. It's not too hard. If I can get it straight, you can get it straight. <laughs> uh, um, Mandy, can you show your host code? It's covered. Oh, sorry, Rose. Yes, thank you. Thank you for letting me know. There you go. So there's the host code for January. It's E-R-W-T-C-Y-J-W. No numbers in it this month. There you go. All right, so I'm just going to clean these straight away because otherwise they're going to hold too much of that ink. And we want to minimise the amount of staining. There we go. All right, so they are nice and clean now. Let's pop those over to the side. Okay, now we'll pop those out. Just make sure that your ink is dry before you do that so that you don't smudge it because we've just got them stamped nice and straight. We don't want to smudge it now and ruin it. Then we'd have to start again and stamp them again. There we go. Okay, so there's our where there is, there is faith. Okay, so that's it for our stamping. So we can move that to the side. And let's bring in all the other components. So the next thing it's showing us is uh, this decorative piece here. We need to put all of our little adhesive dots on the back of those. Okay, so let's do that next. Move all of our extra pieces over to the side. We'll put those ones over there too. Oh, there we go. All right, so I'll pop all of these out. Oh, here we go. Pop all of these out very gently. Now, this one is quite delicate because it's um, very detailed. So just be careful as you're popping that out. Just take your time and go around the edges. Just do that carefully so that you don't, um, tear it. 
They come out pretty easily actually, they're not too bad. You just take your time. You just move that out of my way for a sec. Well, there we go. Wow, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So pretty. Okay, so now we've got to pop some adhesive on the back of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, I don't have a silicon craft sheet in here, do I? No, okay. That's right. So what I might do is I might use some glue dots. I can use some of my glue dots. You can use your adhesive dots that come in your kit. I'm going to use some mini glue dots because I've got them here right beside me and they're open. So I'm just going to pop them down in some of those um, wider sections where there's a little bit more um, cardstock showing. So you've got a bit more space to pop down some adhesive. So behind the butterflies, behind the flowers, they're good places to pop your adhesive. If you're using um, multi-purpose liquid glue, you could do the sponging technique with a sponge on the back of these. Um, I don't have my sponges nearby at the moment, so I can't show you that. Hang on, I'll just pop one in here. Um, yeah, we had to move quite a few of my crafting supplies out of the craft room um, when I hurt my back because we had to put a bed in here for me to be able to sleep downstairs so I didn't have to keep walking up the stairs all the time. So it's my craft room and a spare room at the moment. But in order to do that, we had to move some of my craft supplies out of the craft room and into our, um, funnily enough, into our formal lounge room. <laughs> So there we go. All right, so we've got some adhesive down there. Now the glue, the um, adhesive dots that come in your kit, they're quite a bit smaller than the glue dots. So you'll probably get more on there than what I have got on there. So what I might do is I might add some extra adhesive, but I, I might, um, might use a bit of multi-purpose liquid glue, but I'll get it ready to put on here first. All right, so we're going to fold our card in half I will just burnish again with my bone folder or you can use the edge of your block just do that on the back there if you're going to do that with your block our card is going to go this way this time it's it's like a um, tent fold or a landscape orientation and you're actually going to line this up over the top of the design, the um, watercolour design that's on the card. So that's going to give us some beautiful colour popping from behind. Just going to add a little bit of extra adhesive because those mini glue dots were a little bit bigger. Um, I couldn't get them on all of these other little bits. So I'm going to just add a little bit of extra adhesive here and there. Make sure that this all sits down nicely. There we go. Do, do, do. Get some on these fine details on the edge too so they stay put. Oops. There we go. Okay, I think that should be plenty. All right, now we're going to turn that over and we're going to line this up with the design on the front so that we can see those swirls that colour on those swirls from the um, cardstock coming through. We've got colour there behind the butterflies, colour behind the flowers there. How awesome is that? There we go, give that a nice press all around on there. So isn't that beautiful? Okay, let me just move that. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some um, dimensionals to all of our labels. So we'll just pop those all over upside down. We're going to put dimensionals on all of those. So we'll put four on this large label because it's quite big. 
Here we go. And I'm going to use some of my little minis on these little labels. Or you can cut down your large Stampin' Dimensionals in half to fit on the back of those ones there. There we go. Okay. All right. So we're going to put our big Hope label in the middle. We'll just remove those backings of those Dimensionals. So this one is going to go down here in the middle. There we go. And then we've got, now let's make sure we put them in the right order. Where there is, there is faith. Okay, so where there is, is going at the top. So it's going to read where there is hope. That's going to go up here. And then we've got there is faith. And we'll pop that down here, below. Gorgeous, there we go. And now we've got um, our extra little butterfly. We're just going to pop a little bit of um, glue on the back of that one. And that one's gonna go on our label. Just popping a bit of glue in the middle there on that one. And that one's gonna go here on our label. There we go. And now we're going to add some of that beautiful bling again. So we'll just pop these here and there, round about the place. Whoops, lost it. Where did it go? There it is. And just add some beautiful bling to our card here. So again, you can add as many as you like. It's saying seven. I think it's I think it's got seven again there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So when you're adding your bling, it's always good to add an odd number. So usually three, five, or seven. One, two, three, four. What have we got? One, two, three, four, five. So I've got five on there. I might add a couple here on my. Let's add one on the butterfly. Whoop, let's put it in the middle. We'll put it in the middle of the butterfly. Is that going in the middle? There we go. There we go. So there is our hope card. Where there is hope, there is faith. Isn't that so pretty? Really beautiful. And that coordinates with this envelope here. So there we go. We've got our beautiful envelope, all those gorgeous colors, and that coordinates beautifully. There you go. So, um, Tina said, um, she's the reverse of me. Her formal lounge is the spare room and her craft room is the bedroom. <laughs> it is the opposite. Yes. That's so funny. I hadn't thought about that before. There you go. <laughs> I am hoping to, I'm walking a lot better. So I'm hoping to actually move back up to my bedroom um, in the next couple of days, which also means moving back to um, my ensuite bathroom. So, um, yeah, so I've been having to use the downstairs bathroom because I've needed to not be going up and down the stairs and needed extra aids and things. So there we go. All right. So we just didn't get the third card done, but we are now at an hour 37. So I think probably that is um, a long enough live for today. I'll make the other card um, after I've had a little bit of a rest, I think. I'll make the other card and then I'll pop that up on my um, on my page for you, on my business page for you, and um, you'll be able to see that there. So there's our box, our beautiful box, and the two beautiful cards that we made today. Isn't that just so beautiful? It's such a gorgeous kit. What do you all think? Do you love that? Oh, Rose said beautiful. You like it, Rose? I'm so glad you liked it. Oh, I'm glad that I was able to um, share this one with you today because I'd wanted to, I've wanted i been wanting to share this one for several weeks since I got it and um, just couldn't sit to, to craft. So, yeah. Yeah, so there you go. And, yeah, we've got one more card in the kit to do, but um, I'll do that one a little bit later after I've had a bit of a rest. 
So there you go. So thank you all so much for being with me today. I'm glad that you enjoyed that um, and that you like this. So um, as I said, there's lots of different ideas to use for this box. You can keep it for yourself or give it away to somebody else um, for keeping mementos in. Use it even as a gift box. Um, all different sorts of ideas that you could use that for. And of course, these cards are just gorgeous to send to people. So there you go. So now remember to um, about celebration. So if you are ordering any orders over $90, you'll get to choose a free item from the celebration brochure, which is this one here. And um, remember to use my host code if you're shopping with me as well, so that I can send you um, a lovely thank you gift and look after you as my customer. And I wanna make sure that you get the best value for your money. So if you are placing an order, check with me first to make sure that um, you're maximizing all of your, maximizing your value to get all of the specials and things like that. I'd like to, love to help you with that as well. All right, um, oh, Rose said you've done really well. Lovely work. Thanks so much, Rose. Yeah, it's time for a rest now. <laughs> been sitting long enough my back is telling me it's time to rest <laughs> um tina said wow i started a brand new stamp and seal during um that and you've just finished it lucky i got extras oh my goodness tina you are doing a lot of card making wow wow that's a lot of stamp and seal that must be a lot of cards <laughs> well done well done well i'm glad you could all craft along with me today i love being able to um craft with you and share in the fun of creativity with you so thank you so much for joining me today um now i'm hoping to be live again on thursday for quick and easy projects um all being well, I hope to be here at 11 a.m. So we'll see how we go. So stay tuned. Um, and yeah, and I'll post up photos of these projects as well. Um, probably tomorrow I'll post them up and I'll get the other one made as well between now and then and post that up for you as well. So have a great week, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me for today's um, crafting time. I hope you've enjoyed that. And I look forward to seeing you all again really soon. So happy crafting, everyone. Bye.